cinematic there. Um, I apologise in advance as well, quickly, uh, if there's any wind noise, because obviously I am outside. And we are in a sort of a void here, so the air gets trapped between the buildings. I will try and do my best, though, to, uh, you know, talk as loudly as I can and clearly as possible um, about the uh, course work we've got going on it. So, um, yeah, I've been reading through, well, watching, sorry, some of my older videos, and then I talked about the Escort Cosworths last time that you saw in the showroom. You saw the yellow one as well, which is still in the showroom, and the red one, which has now had a little bit more work done it since last time. And, uh, yeah, it looks more put together than it was last time I saw it. And now it's outside. You guys know that it's um, getting there. So, uh, yeah, this is the Escort Cosworth RS. Uh, this is such an iconic car back from what, the 90s era, things like that. And yeah, this is such a nice deep red. You know what, they normally see them in blue and I normally see them in grey. But um, speaking of grey, there's one over there. I'm just about to see it where that Viper is. We'll take a stroll around the car park in a little while. Uh, but yeah, this is such a nice deep, deep red on here but you're not interested in the color you're interested in what's going on under here because uh yeah there's a lot happened to this car i have the list in front of me and uh we'll get this bonnet open so we can have a bit of a chat about it but before we do that let's just take a quick stroll around the outside and admire this thing um i apologize there is a jeep a big ford ranger part next to the other side and we have a Ford F-150 pickup truck here, so we have some goodies in the car park today. Um, I will try and squeeze around as much as I can. So if we work our way down here, we have the Compomotive, I think they're called, alloy wheels. I think these are lightweight wheels. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I've heard of Compomotive. They are like a sort of like a racing style wheel. We um, also, as you can see up behind there, we have some much bigger discs and we have AP Racing I think they are building, I believe they're full pop calipers on that. Um, obviously you have an older car, so you're definitely going to want to upgrade your brake system on here. Alright, and uh, as you guys can see we're running some Michelin Pilot Sport 4s on here, all four corners, which is a nice sticky rubber, which is what you need on a car with this much horsepower, which we were just about to get into. So I work my way around to the other side quickly. I don't know if you guys can see through there that we do have some coilos on here. These are a bit difficult to see through the wheel, but we have some Gaz coilovers on here, and um, as you know, the brand Gaz they are not the cheapest brands out there, so they are nice, expensive coilovers on here. Proper nice coilovers. I, I don't know much about them, I just know as soon as I see the Gaz logo, I just know they're expensive coilovers. <laughs> um, so, this car's also had all its poly bushes upgraded, and yeah, being an older car, you're going to want to do that. You're going to want to upgrade your brakes, you're going to want to do your suspension, you're going to want to do all your bushes and that. So, this one's had that done. And uh, I think the iconic thing back in the day was the front chin spoiler on this uh, Escort Cosworth, as you can sort of see down there, was one of the biggest things, along with that ducktail spoiler, yeah, along with this. So um, two of the most standout things that were back on the old school Ford back in the day, even the Sierra Cosworth had this as well. So um, yeah, they just yeah just stood out, didn't it really? Also, Ford at the time, I've probably said this before, gave you an option um, to have it removed or not have it at all, which was weird. Along with you can just have it with this if you want, not this part. Um, yeah, that was a weird option. So, working our way quickly onto the gearbox, and here we have some straight cut gears fit on this gearbox. Um, you can see it's a five speed. Um, you see, yeah, we've got some nice straight cut gears now, I'm not entirely sure who made them. But uh, yeah, around about three and a half grand's worth of uh, straight cut gears. So, uh, but that thing sounds amazing. Especially uh, the higher, the quicker you go. Obviously, you get that sort of whining sound. Yeah, if you are wondering what these escorts sound like with straight cut gears, I recommend going uh, that guy. His channel looking like fast. I think he had a guy on there with a Mallard Green Escort with straight cut gears. So you can listen to that on there if you want to. Not what they sound like, but yeah, that's pretty cool. But yeah, anyway, working our way into the sort of the interior while well, just sort of warm up a little bit. Um, as you can sort of see, it's very well, they've kept it um, original. Uh, 
it's very old school in here. It's, I wish you guys can smell what I can smell in here. It smells the leather in here and the old school Ford smell is really strong. And uh, yeah, it just reminds me of my mate's Fiesta SI that he's got. He's got an old 90s Fiesta SI and it smells exactly like this inside. And uh, yeah, I think it's very square and, and yeah, I think it's just much simpler back then than it is now. I mean, you've got the uh, volts turbo gauge up there and uh, I'm guessing that's an oil pressure as well. Just like you get on the modern STs and RSs and that now. Uh, you've got the Cosworth stamps on the dashboard. Again, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's just, it's very old school. I just love it. You know, I love these seats as well. Being Recaro's, full on leather. Normally leather's quite uncomfortable to sit on. But in here, it literally feels like you're sat on an, like, an old armchair. It's so comfortable. And, um, yeah, it's lovely. But the, uh, the smell of leather in here is just overwhelming. Yeah, this car's only done about 58,000 miles. So, uh, yeah, it spent most of its life with the other own the guy who owned it before. Um, tucked away in a garage, so it's been well looked after and stuff. So, uh, yeah. That's what um, it's all about, really, keeping these old school Forders on the road, but obviously you keep them out the uh, the elements of the world, keep them from rusting away, because, as you know, old Fords, they do like to rust. So, um, yeah, should we work our way onto the engine bay now? I think we should. guys there's the uh, Escort Cosworth engine the iconic the way they're shaped and the way they're sat in there it's just uh, well I've not seen these engines in a very very long time I, I've totally forgot what they look like uh, this is like an old style head on it though um, they did a I can't remember the name of them now there's one in here inside the workshop there is another version of the head um, it's a bit more rounded um, I can't remember the name of it someone can let me know down below but yeah this is yeah I've not seen these in years uh, I can't believe how much they've crammed in here being only a 2 litre turbocharged engine um, yeah they've really crammed it in there I mean, look how close it is to the, to the bulkhead, bulkhead there but then again uh, none of this stuff was supposed to be here when it came out of the factory especially that gigantic turbo and all these really nice polished um, aluminium or if you're an American, aluminum uh, <laughs> catch cans and stuff here. So, I do have, I'm gonna cheat here guys, I do have a sheet in front of me, um, cause I need to remember, there's so much, this car's had so much, I'm not gonna be able to cover it all. You're gonna just have to, if you're interested in this, just cause this car is up for sale, if you're interested, just give the guys at Henny Points um, a ring, I speak with uh, Steve, and uh, he'll give you more of a spec than I can but this is what he's given me so far so this engine actually was built back in 2008 um, this engine has been fully built as well uh, been stripped and rebuilt from head to toe basically and uh, yeah by a company called 2008 Rayland Motorsport or Ryland Rayland yeah Rayland Motorsport so uh, yeah this engine's had a complete overhaul um, like I said, it's been fully stripped down and rebuilt. Um, it's forged as well. It's got seven to one forged pistons in here as well. Uh, 91 50 millimeter set of main, main bear bearings and big end bearings. Uh, it's got a Cosworth oil breather can, which is I'm guessing one of the that one there. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's got. Like I said, it's got loads done on here. It's got a, it's got a light and refaced flywheel on here as well. Uh, ported cylinder head as well. So uh, yeah, somewhere in there. <laughs> like I said, you're just going to buy this engine. Um, especially me, I love old school Fords. I really do. Just love the fire. 
you know what, if this was in my garage, I'll just, I'll just I literally would give it a good clean, a good polish, and then I'd just sit down on a deck chair with a beer and just sit and admire it. I had the bonnet off and everything, I would just sit there and admire it. I used to do that with my SD actually, don't go down to my underground car park and just sit there and just take a chair down there with me and just sit there and just admire it, you know? Um, but yeah, very, very ported to the hair, it's got real big fuel injectors on here as well. Um, I'm not entirely sure what size they are, but from what you can see here, yeah, they're um, got an upgraded fuel rail on here as well, and all the fixtures and fittings and stuff. It's got some Roost Motors 4 silicone hose joiners on here, got some Samco ones, it's cool to see Samco pipes in there. I don't normally see Samco anymore, it's normally Roos or um, Ash, I think it is, silicone hoses, so it's nice to see some Samco Sport pipes in here. Uh, yeah, it's got all these pipes and lines upgraded for the oil feed line and some on turbo. Even got this little thing here that's sort of like a brace. Um, it's even got like a little, it looks like a little shock absorber right there for the turbo so it can move with the engine. But yeah, that's just bracing it all in and that. But yeah, it's all been completely redone. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see from up here, but the cooling system on here, you can just worry about see it down there has been completely done, that's got like a Motorsport Pro Alley radiator and a huge, you can't really see it from here, I can see not really see it on camera but just through that gap there, in there somewhere, the massive intercooler and from where I am it is a huge boy of an intercooler, you guys can just probably about see it, uh, yeah that is really thick a real big intercooler and they're gonna need it to be honest because I'm, I'm just about to get to how much horsepower this thing flying so you're wondering how much it is but anyway we'll get there don't worry we'll get there just gotta get through this list <laughs> so we've got Denso IK 3-1 um, smart bugs in there uh, five bar map sensor uh, yeah so it's also got some piper cams on here as well, as you can sort of see, the get the pulleys here. Um, I had them, they're very old school, they are, definitely old school. Um, I had a set of those on my Clio back in the day, piper cams and that, and cat cams, so Jesus, it makes a huge difference. Now this turbo is a Garrett, I'm not entirely sure, I don't know, maybe AR50 or something like that, it's got a stamp inside there. Um, yeah, that's, that's, as you can sort of see there, how big the silicone hose joint coming off there. Um, it is, and there's my hand, as you can sort of see, it's, it's huge. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what sort of air intake system because it's sort of tucked down behind the wheel well here. So um, yeah, we've got all kinds of gold heat management going on here as well. And then we've got this massive heat wrapped downpipe going down to a three inch exhaust system which is stainless steel, literally from the turbo back. Um, so again, heat management, because obviously, Sitting right here is going to create a lot of heat, especially next to the engine block now. So, uh, if you wonder what this stuff is, it's, it's just exhaust heat heat wrap to uh, keep the temperatures down inside the engine bay. Even though it does have bonnet vents, um, which is handy because literally this vent here is literally right over the top of this turbo on here. So, uh, yeah, this is a. I wish you guys could be here in person to see this because this turbo is massive. It is really, really big. I mean, you can just see the outlet size of the turbo. It's almost the same size as the actual turbo out of, out, uh, house in here. Um, yeah, I should have asked a bit more details actually what sort of wheel it's got on there. But yeah, uh, power wise. Okay guys, are you sitting down? You're obviously you're sitting down, you're wondering what, what it is. You're like, yeah, come on, uh, Adam, get on with it, get on with it. What is it? So it is Escort. <clears throat> Has 564 horsepower. Yeah, let me just... Uh, Said it again, 564 brake horsepower with straight cut gears, some sticky tyres, some big brakes, huge turbo. Now, bear in mind, this engine was rebuilt in 2008, and this engine, I've just been told, has been in here as well for 10 years. And even back then, you can imagine back in the old days, you know, this car that much brake horsepower back then, that was unheard of, and that was scary. Especially in an old Escort, which obviously at the time it wasn't old, it was new, but having that much power. You know what I mean? It's just even by today's standards, 500 horsepower is still a big number, even for a small. What we called at the time the hatchback of the uh, of the day. Um, yeah, it was absolute madness. I mean, 500 horsepower, right? Come over here quickly. We've got Hendy Performances RS 
focus here. This is Mark III RS, and as you can see on the livery on here, it's got 500 horsepower. Now, even just we were just talking about an ago, I'm like, that's still a good number. That's still unheard of, to be honest, on a focus. I mean, we've got a focus RS Mark II here in the color that I want. I, I don't know how much power that is, but you can still get 400, 500 horsepower out of them and that's front wheel drive and that's still crazy and then getting it from an old Escort which has had that power for all these years it just goes to show as well what sort of engines these are you know how, how strong they are I know it's had a lot of work done fully forged and opened up and rebuilt but still going oh, I didn't tell you about the torque either uh, 400 465 pounds for the torque so yeah a lot <laughs> enough to get going and it's all going through four wheels because this escorts are four wheel drive so i had to move around to kick up the wind but yeah these escorts are four wheel drive so uh yeah i just literally every time i see an old school four i'm just overwhelmed so i don't really know what to say it's just you guys can see it through the video it's just that looks amazing doesn't it really it's good to see an old school engine an old school ford so speaking of old school Fords, because this is an Escort video, we're going to go around the car park. So there's another Escort over there, and they have one inside the workshop and the yellow one that's inside the showroom. Um, I will come back and do the yellow one later on, guys. It's just because it's having a bit more... This one's had more work done in it since before the yellow one, and now they're working on the yellow one. Um, I'll come back when the yellow one is <laughs> up and working and... Yeah, a bit more put together. But we will go in there and have a look at it because I'd like to promise you guys a escort video and this is what it is going to be today. And it's a super long video today just to uh, give you guys, because of what's going on in the world, the coronavirus and that, it's just, I thought I'd give you guys a nice long video. And I'm out here risking my life. I could die. No. Uh, yeah, let's go and uh, find the other escorts in the car park. So we made our way over to the edge of the car park here. We have another escort. This is in... Uh, my, what my friend has, a, like I say, in about Fiesta SI, he's got it in this colour. This is a Mallard green. Uh, in certain lights, it's almost a bit blue, and it looks very dark green and a light green. And yeah, it's just a really cool sort of um, texture it's got on the old Mallard green paintwork. Uh, they've only just picked this one up, so by the time this video comes out, it would probably be prepped and up on their website. So I'm probably, if not, I'm probably showing it off a bit too early. So. Yeah, Henry Formans have just picked this up, so this one is completely standard. Um, it's just had bushes and brakes upgraded. Um, I think they're still standard brakes, but you know, just uh, new powers and discs. But all the bushes have been redone, like I was talking about in a minute ago. It's an old car, so you're going to want to change your bushes. Um, but yeah, this is a... It's nice to see a standard one. One that's not really been overly modified. Um, I don't even know if it has, to be honest from looking through those vents in there it doesn't look like it's had anything major done i'll come back down later on when it's had a bit when it's had um a bit of work done to it and i can see here the chin spoiler is actually proper carbon fiber jesus it is i know oh wow okay it's even got a secondary lip as well that must have been worth a pretty penny i'll tell you what i wouldn't like to catch that on a speed bump or anything so i'll be <laughs> that is nice, I like that. It's sort of, sort of like got a uh, satin finish to it as well, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's a nice standard Escort. If anyone's interested in it, it shall soon be up for sale. So you know what, when I come down here, guys, to Henny Points, there's always, there's always some goodies going on here. I mean, you can see here, there's a bloody Dodge Viper sat in the car park. Follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this. Uh, yeah, they've just got this in as well. Um, yeah. <laughs> I know I said there's an escort video, but I'm about to walk past it because I'm about to go indoors. But uh, there we go, that's what a Dodge Viper looks like, guys. Uh, quite next to an Escort Cosworth. Now, you don't see that every day, do you? I mean, look at the chrome rims on that, now they are proper, proper chrome. Yikes. When I was down here the other day and it was sunny and the sun hit that, it's actually blinding to look at. But in person, these Vipers are actually quite small. You don't realise how small they are. Um, yeah, I don't, I can't really compare. It's no bigger than that Escort, to be honest. Uh, yeah, quite tiny, and even inside, because I have, I have sat in it, uh, even inside they're actually quite tiny. But all, I always said the dashboard and the driving position there almost feels like a bit like an RX-7. But yeah, I have 
sat, heard this as well. There's a sound clip on my Instagram at AJ Focus. If you want to go and listen to it, but yeah, that's a pretty picture. That's a V10 in there. If you're wondering what's in it. And I was just about to walk past this because of the colour. It didn't really stand out at first, but here we go. We've got an Alpine here as well. This is a. Uh, I don't know. Renault had a. I think they had a say in it. I'm, I'm sure they had a say in it. I'm not entirely sure on what happened with this car. It just sort of came out of the blue, to be honest, and very, very dark, wasn't it? Really? It's just. Yeah. So this is a Alpine. Or an Alpine. Really, really cool. It's got some sort of French flag on here, so I'm guessing Renault had a say in it. Pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, let's go and find the other escorts and uh, get this video. Well, get this video near the end then. So I've just quickly worked my way into the workshop, and this is what I was telling you about how the engines got a bit newer um, as they got older. All right, so uh, yeah, as I was saying, guys, there we go. The different style heads on the escort Cosworths. Um, yeah, this is actually a customer's car, so I'm not going to show too much of it because uh, the customer might not want that. So, um, yeah, this has been it for ages. Handy Formance has completely redone this car over and over and over. Uh, from head to toe again, engine, interior. Yeah, it's been here for ages. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm not going to show too much because, like I said, it's a customer's car. So we're going to move on to the yellow one. So just very quickly guys, because my camera is about to die, we're going to work our way into the showroom very, very quickly because the yellow one is here, as you can sort of see. Uh, yeah, my camera is not liking. I'll just up the lighting on here a little bit on my screen so I can see what I'm looking at. Yeah, battery worn and low. So we're going to do this really, really quickly and I'm going to end the video. So here's the yellow one. We're going to, like I said, we're going to come back later on when it's a bit, bit more put together, this one, because it, um, like I said, they are working on it, as you sort of see inside. I'm not going to show too much because well, yeah, they are working on it. But yeah, just uh, thought I would do and come in here and admire this one. Uh, now this isn't a factory colour. I don't know if it was, but anyway, this wasn't originally this colour. This has been resprayed. Very nicely done, actually. It was actually Mallard Green, same as one outside. Uh, don't know why they went for the yellow. <laughs> Never knew that, but anyway. Yeah, as you can see, this one's got the blue head, but the other one, the red one had the red head, and the other escort now had that sort of bluey silvery sort of tint to it um, but yeah the last time I saw this engine it was now pretty much almost put back together it's just missing a few injectors and a few other little auxiliaries in it here and there but the last time I saw it didn't have a turbo didn't have an intake um, pipes were missing but yeah it's all been put back together which is nice slowly getting there um, so a bit of an update on the yellow escort so there we go then guys